All right, and welcome back, folks. Again, Horticulture's Phil rushing here, and like I told you before the break, I've got a, a, a very interesting new gadget for my garden. And I've got online Gina Armoni. Gina, how are you today? I'm well, Fowler. How are you? Good, good, good. And you are the marketing communications manager. Sounds really important of a huge company called ITT. It's like a ten or eleven billion dollar company on all seven continents. But y'all got some of the weirdest little products that work for home gardeners. And the one I've got right now is called Rain Perfect. It's a solar powered water pump for my my rain barrel. Uh, when y'all come up with this idea? Well, we actually uh, started developing this idea about a little over a year ago, and we are really proud to say that this product went from concept to market in about 12 months. So well, we well, really like to take the ideas and, and bring them right out to you guys. Well, it, it's not like that y'all haven't been doing this before because uh, your company has been working with all sorts of innovative pumps and environmental things uh, in some pretty dire parts of the world that, that don't, don't have energy or electricity, including things like on boats, maritime stuff, and then, um, you know, so you've been working with this kind of technology for a long time. Absolutely, and, and what we did was we actually took technology that is backed by, you know, as you said, we have 45 years uh, in the industry with this technology, and we just applied it to a new application to help uh, home, homeowners that are getting into water harvesting better use their rainwater. Well, it has been real special to me. Uh, the folks who've been listening to my program all these years know that, uh, you know, I'm, I, it's not that I'm green or, or environmental, Gene. I'm lazy. And I've got a garden that I would rather do as little as possible because I'm busy. I'm gone a lot. And uh, I grow a lot of plants that basically survive on the kind of conditions we have here. But my potted plants and some of my vegetables and herbs, they've got to be watered. I've gone a lot. So I've been collecting rainwater. I even have a 300-gallon cistern in my front yard. So uh, this is something that's near and dear, but for the past several years, I've been dipping out of draining my water garden in, excuse me, my cistern into my water garden and dipping out of my water garden with a bucket. And when y'all came out of this pump, I was talking with the, uh, the architect who helped me design this, this water harvesting uh, roof I've got, and he said that there should be technology for boat, solar-powered boat pumps to be used for water gardens, and then bam, this thing came out. Yeah, we definitely saw a need in the market. Uh, many of the consumers that we've been speaking with have also shared in your technique of using the rainwater once they've harvested it, and they've dipped their pail into their rain barrel, or they've gone over with a cup and scooped the water out from yeah. the barrel into their watering pail. Yeah, so ten poles at all. like the fact that our – yeah, exactly. And so our pump really allows you to not really change your lifestyle any. As if you were using city water, instead of turning on the spigot when you go outside, you just simply press the button on the top of the pump, and you can spray away. Yeah, as a matter of fact, uh, Gina, when I when I got this thing, because as soon as I found out about it, I mean, I immediately just jumped right on it. Uh, as a garden writer, I like to, to share new technology. But as a gardener, you know, I like, you know, gadgets and stuff. I even I even grow herbs in the back of my pickup truck in a, in a, a, a bucket, and I've got a solar-powered nightlight in it. So that's, you know, a little on the nutty side, I guess. But when, the, when I got this pump, uh, I, I got it in. It wasn't very expensive. It's uh, 120 130 bucks, something like that. I, it wasn't sell for. I forget. Our suggested retail price is 139 So yeah. you're, you're in the right range there. Yeah. I mean, it, it, so you know, on, on one hand, it seemed like, well, it's a little expensive just for a, for a gadget. But as soon as I cranked that thing up, it's got a, a nice size, about a not quite a foot square solar collector. And we get plenty of sunshine where I live. And I dropped a little pump down into my water garden to see how it works. And Gina, I can squirt a cat across the street with that stream of water. That's a, that's a lot of yeah, pressure. Yeah. That's something it puts out something like three or four gallons a minute. So when it when it comes to uh, to, to, to pumps, you've been working with a company uh, that has been working with with uh, interesting, powerful little pumps that are pretty standard. You know, it's real easy to, to install. I just drop it down in my water garden and I plug it in. It took me about five minutes from when I opened the box to where I had it running. It's got a rechargeable battery that uh, I think I could probably get about oh, 90 or 100 gallons of water pumped with each charge. Yeah, absolutely. That's, that's exactly how we designed it, so that you could pump up to 100 gallons. And, you know, for your 300-gallon cistern, that might not be enough for uh, your uses, but for the standard 50 to 60-gallon rain barrel, it's, it's more than enough for the average homeowner. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't use all 300 gallons at a time, uh, you know, but I just did that because it's, you know, if you can have a water, if you can have a water uh, butt in the front yard, I want to have some water. Matter of fact, I painted it teal in case Martha comes to town, if you know what I mean. <laughs> but uh, but this thing was real easy to, to, to hook up. The, the pump looks like a 
It's like a microphone, you know, like you see people, you know, interviewing people. It's not a very big pump, but how did you come up with something that's so powerful in such a small package? Well, that's actually uh, a pump that we've had for a long time, actually. That pump is a 280 gallons per hour inline centrifugal pump, and it's actually, it's, it's proven in the industry. We have over 15 million units in use of that pump alone. So uh, that pump has served us very well, and we're just applying a new application here. Well, it, it really works. Now, as far as the, the, the charging up, I guess anybody, I, I spend part of the time uh, overseas where they may not have as much sunshine, but where they don't have much sunshine, they have a lot of rain. How about in places like Texas, uh, Atlanta, you think Atlanta, Georgia, here in the south would have plenty of rainfall. They do, but they don't have enough water. So rain harvesting seems to be, you know, rain barrels, rain harvesting is a real trend, not just with home gardeners, but with the architects these days. Are, are y'all working with any commercial applications of this? Yeah, that's actually one of the markets that we are exploring. We are looking at uh, architects that are building homes or landscape architects that are doing gardens for homeowners. And a lot of them actually more recently are including rain barrels and water harvesting systems in their designs. And so this pump is definitely something that piques their interest to start recommending it to their homeowners and everything when they do a project. Well, that's, that's where I really got started this, Gina. You know, like I say, I've you know, got a, a fun little garden. It's a cottage garden. I try to do green things with this. You know, I've got a solar-powered clothesline. It's just a clothesline is all. But, but when it came to my night lighting, uh, I wasn't really satisfied at first with the with the, the, the quality of the light that comes out with the night lighting. But with this pump, this, the, the, the little battery pack that came with this, uh, it's not as big as a cup of coffee, and that is a powerful little, and it's rechargeable. So any idea how long this battery pack should last over the life of my pump? Yeah, actually, the battery is good for, and this is uh, this answer really depends on how much you use the product. So we calculated it out that if you drain the battery completely, and now that's a complete 100% drain, yeah, uh, you can recharge it about once a month for three years. So it'll last about 36 full charges. Uh, now, it's important to keep in mind in that, that most people are not going to drain the battery completely on each use. They're only going to use a little bit of the power because they're only going to go out for maybe five or ten minutes yeah. to water their lawn or garden. Well, you know, I, I, I don't I don't really believe in magic, but I would tell you this, Gina, there's something special about rainwater. When I water from a hose, you know, it does a fine job, but uh, when I water from my from my, my rain barrel, it just seems to have a magical effect on the plants. And this this pump makes it to where you know I can get things easily all the way across my garden without having to haul the, the buckets. But let me ask you this: This is a kind of technical question. I, I don't you know my, maybe you can hook me up with somebody you know, by email. You know if there's any way I can have this where it works on a timer for like when I've gone to hook up to my trickle irrigation because this this thing will pump. It's powerful enough to pump a regular garden sprayer. Yeah, and actually that's um, that's one thing that this particular version of the product does not have. But we've been getting a lot of consumer feedback that that is a desire. So that's not to say that our engineering and design team isn't going to incorporate that into the next version um, of this product. So as of now, unfortunately, no, it, it can't be connected to a timer to run your drip irrigation. Well, that's okay. I can, I can work up an electronic fast. finger. I can, I can work up an electronic finger just to push the button every now and then. So, uh, in, in a nutshell, you know, because it's a brand new product, it just came out this year. It's just now available. When you're explaining to somebody what this is, it's called Rain Perfect. Rain Perfect, I'm going to call it um, Water Pump. Rain Perfect, what, what do you call it? Uh, well, the official name that we like to use for it is Rain Perfect Solar Powered Rain Barrel Pump System. Wow, that's a mouthful. But it, it works. Is, it is. And the, the reason that it's a mouthful, though, is because um, there is a pump, and the pump is just that small, uh, I believe you correlated it to a microphone-looking piece. Yeah. That piece itself right there is the actual pump. But what we, the solution that we came up with is the entire system. So when you purchase Rain Perfect, you're not just getting the pump. You're getting the solar panel, the control box with the battery, the, uh, the in inlet hose and all the wiring that you might need, and the pump. So for us to just call it a pump, we want to make sure that, you know, our consumers are understanding that they're actually getting the whole system in that. Yeah, and, and this works, by the way, for people who may have a, may have a garden down the country or maybe they're a long way from, they, they don't have electricity, maybe they have a, from community gardens, I'm thinking. Because, you know, a lot of times community gardens just have a communal shed and some rain barrels and no electricity. This would be perfect for something like that. 
Yeah, absolutely. Since it's completely self-sustainable with the, the solar power, it doesn't need to be anywhere near electricity. Well, uh, who else can do you envision really benefiting from this rain perfect besides just home gardeners and community gardens? I'm, I'm, they probably use them on boats, don't they? You know, they they have used them on boats for some applications. Um, those applications tend to get rather unique, and it's not what we design the product for, uh -huh. but if it serves to fit uh, their needs, then you, you know, we have heard of it being used on on both. Yeah. Well, the, the, the company that, that you work with uh, is called ITT Flow Control. ITT is a, it's a huge business. All, literally, uh, all seven continents. You've been doing this for a long time. Um, but this is something that you design really for home gardeners. What's some $10 billion company doing trying to come up with something that's easy like this? You, you plan on using this overseas, maybe some countries that that, um, that really don't have much electricity, or is it just aimed towards the garden market? Yeah, it's actually part of our new um, brand, and one of the new brands that we launched is a subset of our Rule brand, and you might recognize the name Rule. Rule is a market leader in the marine industry right, for right. Uh, pump, pump solutions. Uh, so essentially what our Rule Innovation products do is it's really the result of our ITT flow control innovation team coming together to create and uh, deploy the next generation of water handling technology. So what that means is that we're seeing that we have all of this great technology that we've traditionally used in industrial and business-to-business -business purposes that really your average consumer or your everyday homeowner could use and it could help their life and make their, their life more convenient in a different manner. So we're taking that technology that we have um, proven with, with so many years in the industry and we're, we're applying it to different areas and we're kind of sharing the wealth, so to speak, of, you know, it, it works so well in the industrial markets and it works so well in the marine market, but now we're, we're pointing out that it can also work really well in the consumer market. Well, you know, especially now, because a lot of states are really mandating rainwater usage, you know, it's not, not, you know, not just, just stuff out of the hose, but out, but rainwater too. There's even some, some, some laws in place where you can't harvest too much, but more and more people are putting in rain barrels. They kind of rain butts over in England. Uh, but this is the kind of thing where as soon as I hooked it up, Gina, I mean, I, I pulled it out of the bottoms, I plugged it up, I dropped it in my water garden, and immediately, I mean, I could shoot probably 30 feet. Matter of fact, I'm, I'm posting pictures of this on my webpage that the little system right by my water garden is showing me squirting some stuff. It's a powerful little pump, and it'll pump way more water at a time than I will ever use in my fairly busy little garden. Uh, is it possible that I might be able to... Uh, to get some kind of uh, ecological or uh, some kind of, of, of a rebate from my utility company or something? Well, the rebates that are out there right now are actually based on your rain barrel, and they vary by uh, local municipality. So not even the state level if you're in the United States, but actually your, your town or your city and their utility company, their municipality, might be running water harvesting specials. Uh, uh -huh. it, it, it does vary by city. I know in the United States there are a couple cities that – the purchase of a rain barrel can qualify you for either a flat re rebate, for example, say $25 just for buying a barrel, or maybe $0.10 cents per gallon. Um, so depending on the size of the barrel, that will determine your rebate amount. But really, when it comes to rebates and incentives, that's very, very close to home at the municipality level in the area that you live. And those are focused more on the rain barrel purchase than they are on the pump system. What our system does is just helps you use that rain barrel in a more convenient way. Well, I, I can tell you, my Rain Perfect, yeah, right, wait, give me the whole name again, Rain Perfect. Solar Powered Rain Barrel Pump System. It seems like, I mean, that, that, that makes sense, but basically, I'm going to use this baby, and I'm going to squirt the cat with it. <laughs> I know that's not part of your design team, but uh, again, I'm going to hook it up to my trickle irrigation system. Uh, I can actually use it in our, uh, I can squirt stuff from my deck all the way up to some of my pots. I can water hanging baskets from my porch swing with this thing. It's a powerful little thing, and it's ready to go. Um, now, I, I'm going to give the website uh, on, on our website. It's rainperfectpump.com, and I'm going to have pictures of this on there also. But what, since this is such a new product, where can folks get something like this, or do they just need to go to the, the website and see? Well, the best answer to that really is just to go to the website and check it out because a lot of the retailers that are carrying this are niche rain barrel retailers. And because the cost of shipping rain barrels is so expensive for the barrel itself, the retailers are really located throughout different areas, different geographical regions. Excuse 
amazing. So if you go on the website, you can see all of the retailers that are there, and you can choose the retailer that, that best works for you. You could also purchase it on Amazon.com if you wanted. There you go.